Hi everyone and welcome for this tutorial how to sculpt a sword. I'm going to use some milliput, some green stuff and different tools you are going to see during this tutorial. Don't hesitate to take a look to all this tutorial before you are going to start and try to make a hit yourself. Uh, that's the best way to learn. Don't hesitate to share this tutorial, to comment if you have any question, I will uh, try to answer as soon as possible. Thanks and let's go for the tuto. First of all, I start by mixing my uh, milliput, and after I uh, put a large serpentine just to um, have the global uh, shape of the sword. I use my metallic tools at this moment to have very strict uh, edges and as you can see I make the sharp edge of the sword uh, in the first time from the two different sides. After that uh, I will uh, continue uh, by pushing the guards of the sword so you can put the size you want and the, the different form you, you want, it's possible too. After that I put the sword uh, handle uh, to, uh, to, to be more uh, cool. After it's totally dry, I remove it with, with an exacto, and I am going uh, to um, sand it uh, just to have a very very strong, strong uh, edges on every part. I'm going to make on the other side, the side I not already paint, I'm going to create the shape uh, H uh, just uh, with a beginning uh, sandpaper or different elements and now with my exacto just to be sure to have very very strong uh, edge. After that I'm going to glue um, the guard and the handle uh, sword because it's, it was removed during the process and I'm going to put some green stuff all around um, the handle uh, just to create uh, some kind of uh, tissue. I put one more element to finish uh, the handle of the sword and after I'm going to try to make some line just to simulate once again some uh, tissue, some band bandage. I don't know if it's a good word, don't hesitate to put it in the comments. Uh, I'm going to use some color chaper uh, to create um, uh, some uh, more flat effect on, the, on this different element. And I continue uh, by uh, using some green stuff just to consolidate uh, the guard. Every time I'm going to use first my tools in metal and after uh, my uh, color uh, shaper to clean the surfaces. Uh, don't uh, remember one important thing, uh, the surface you want uh, to uh, work on, you need always to be a little bit uh, wet just to be sure the element is not going to fix on your tools. Now I'm going to start uh, making um, a skull. For that I'm going to use a little uh, ball, uh, little tools with a little ball at the end just to put uh, the different form on this skull. Thanks again to all my boss on Patreon who support me every month to create more and more content for you. Don't hesitate to take a look. I create a special secret group to, uh, so you can share you, uh, to, to me my, your work and I can give you my feedback. Once again I come back with uh, my uh, color chaper just to clean the different surfaces. I accelerate a lot uh, this video uh, just to have a very quick format. Uh, in real time uh, it take me something like uh, uh, an half hour to, to sculpt this world. After that when my skull will be totally clean 
uh, I'm starting to with very small uh, serpentine uh, to create uh, different kind of ornament just to have a more clean and more finish effect at the end remember to have always a little bit uh, humidity of on on your tools to be sure uh, the stuff is going to uh, not uh, fix on your tools and fix only on the surfaces you want I come back to fix all different elements I put a ring on the base of the sword just to have a more clean and more nice finish and once again I'll put some ornament sometimes you are going to see that your putty is not necessary uh, glue on the surfaces at this time as you can see I put just a little bit super glue just to be sure my small ball will be easy to, to put don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and if you want to support me on Patreon that will be very helpful to help me to create more and more content. Thank you for watching and see you soon for the next tutorial.